Here's what we're doing. We're doing this and hot tubbing. A little cover up until I actually get into the hot tub. Um, the hot tub is open. I took off the lid. It's right next to me. Um, now I did put too much chlorine in. I'm having a really hard time managing because I don't use chlorine with a I use chlorine without stabilizer because stabilizer, um, my hot tub is generally covered in the, like when I'm not using it. So the stabilizer just builds up. Point is, <laughs> chemicals, I use non-stabilizer stuff, but then uh, I'll actually use my hot tub and it'll get, it'll like build up too much. Also, I'm having a bad hair day, so I brought a hat outside that needs to be steamed to be a good shape and we're gonna do that while we wait for the um for the thing to heat up there's the hot tub everything's ready there's the grill there's my little fuckers the kebabs i made i woke up at four in the morning and made kebabs because i had vegetables to do it with and also because I don't know. <laughs> so, I'm gonna sit on the ground with you guys. Sorry, I can't see the chat yet. I don't have it open. Okay, hold on. I'm opening it. Um, but yeah, I have a hat to fit because I'm having a bad hair day. So I have a hat to use, but it came in the mail all like scrunched up and folded up so you're supposed to steam it. I have a steamer because I wear costumes. So that's the point. Hi honey. You can go in the house if you want where the air conditioning is. You don't have to be out here. The food will not get eaten without you. I made Jack his own little mini, mini kebab. By the way, just so you guys know, he's not being left out. I need to see my chat. Chat, please. Hi. Hi, Jamie. Hi, Mad. Maddie. Hi, R. Yeah, we're. I, I bought a pellet grill. I've used it two times. The first time I did a stream where I um, accidentally smoked burgers instead of grilling them because I was afraid to make it a high temperature. And then I off stream the other made kebabs, like pork kebabs, and they turned out really good except I burned them. So this time I'm doing it on stream and I'm not going to burn them. Um, but also this swimsuit is, it, the underwire is like literally poking me on both sides and it's, it, I might end up changing. So if I look, if I just am fucking with my bikini top endlessly, also we're going to hot tub. The hot tub is open, as you can see from the lid being there. There. But yeah, I have a steamer. I don't know how to use the steamer. I don't know how to turn it on. Probably the on button. Problem is, there's no light, apparently. I really thought there would be. So I don't actually know if that works. Oh yeah, there's lights now! Okay, now I wait. And then we're going to steam the hat. Also, when I bought this, I thought it was going to be like this. But it actually, like, my boobs are too big, so it kind of fits like this. And I don't know if it looks good with this. Let me see. I have a lot of thoughts. Anyway, I have a lot of thoughts. Okay. It is. It's, uh, it's, uh, it might become unbearable. We shall see. We shall see. But I am excited to hot tub. There is too much chlorine in it right now, but I have the lid off. Because there's no stabilizer in the chlorine, it should, in theory, evaporate away the chlorine. Also, what temperature are we at? Oh, we're at 500. It's time to put them in. Okay, hold on. There's a spider. Okay. Um, come with me. I don't know what.
what height to put you guys at. I still haven't figured out, because I've only done one stream with this thing. Oops. I still haven't figured out like what the best way to, to stream this is, like so you guys can see what's happening, but also see me. I haven't figured it out yet, but... Ow. Is it supposed to be hot? I'm gonna grab a hot pad. I don't entirely know what I'm supposed to do with the grill brush, but I know I'm supposed to do something with it, like add like new stuff. Like, can I just put the food on there even though I grilled with it the other day? Was I supposed to wash? I feel like the internet told me I'm not supposed to wash this shit every day, but like, there's like ash and stuff. There's like ashes. I feel, okay, I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna let that stuff burn off. I'm gonna le let it be hot for like half an hour and see if all the ashes burn away. And then I'm gonna put the food on. Maybe 20 minutes, maybe not an hour. Maybe not half an hour. I don't really understand how that's supposed to be clean. Because I know that's how it's done, right? You like have the grill and you put the you like just use the grill surface, right? You don't take out the grill things and wash it, right? Oh, I was like, what did my hand just touch? There's literally a steamer right here. Hold on. Okay. We're, all, we're steaming a hat with a steamer also so I can wear the hat. It's new. It's kind of a miracle for me to find a hat that's big enough for my enormous noggin, so it's good news. You can use that. Do I have an onion? There are onions on the grill. Oh, there are onions on the kebabs. You don't wash it. You can keep it clean with the brush after you cook. So you do that afterwards, not before. Okay. So is it a big problem that I didn't do it after? Because I thought I was supposed to do it before. Um, hi, welcome. I definitely need help figuring out how grilling works. Okay. I don't really know how to do this. I've never done this before. Um. <laughs> uh, turbo. Okay, I pushed the turbo button. I don't see any steam coming out. Did I do it wrong? Maybe it's taking its sweet time. There's heat. Wait, maybe steam is happening and I just can't see it. Unclear. Am I just melting the hat at this point? I don't know. I'm gonna let it, I'm gonna do it. I'm just gonna leave it until I see steam coming out of it. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, looks spotless. It definitely does it from my end. Um, I'll maybe, I'll show you guys a close-up. I'll like take, I'll put the camera close to it in a few minutes. Hi Ethel, don't you, hey, hey, hey! Jack, get her! The cat, the stray cat is trying to get in my house. No, you can't go in there, I'm so allergic to Jack! Oh, she just be, oh, baby! Oh, Ethel just wants to lie by the door so she can get the air conditioning but not go nuts. Baby, are you okay? I think Ethel might not be tolerating the increased heat this summer very well. I might have to figure out some kind of fans. I have a fan! Okay, hold on. I'm going to go get a fan for the cat. <laughs> hold on. I'm getting a fan for the cat. I have an idea. Hi, Ethel. I 
don't need, I took the stand off. And I'm going to plug it in right here and put it where the cat likes to lie. And then she can enjoy, but it'll just be on the ground like at her level. She's pouting in the grass or in the whatever by the wisteria, so whatever, we'll wait. She'll hopefully go back over there. Um, okay, there's is there, there's a lot of heat coming out of this, but I don't see any steam. I'm gonna push turbo again. Am I supposed to like hold it? <laughs> I'm just gonna hold it at the thing. I don't know what I'm doing. Like, how is this supposed to work? Guys, I'm so fucking ready for kebabs. I woke up at 4 in the morning and, like, cut up all the veggies and the chicken, and I put them in, like, a big old two gallons of pluck bags and, like, um, put a bunch of spices in there and mix it all up so it could sit in the spices for a long time. I'm holding the turbo button now. I don't know how this works. I really wish I did. It is producing heat, just not really like steam, as far as I can tell. Maybe it is and I just can't see it. Should I be wearing this? I feel like I'm gonna burn myself if I do that. Sorry, I haven't looked at chat in like a minute since I got the fan. No, I don't know where my chat, where my phone even is. Okay. Placing this down. Here. And I'm putting it kind of on my half head. <laughs> See what I mean about it being kind of folded? Yeah, it is really hot here, so to my left, <laughs> thank you, <laughs> thank you. Um, yeah, I definitely don't know what I'm doing. Um, okay, I'm going to, I could also just dip it in my hot tub. <laughs> no. Too much chlorine. Okay, I'm just holding it in front of it now. If I get it hot enough and then I like flatten it with my hands, I guess. Oh, I should, you know what I should do? I should just grab some like bricks or something or like, I don't know, heavy things that are flat and I should lay it down on the ground in the sunlight because in the sunlight on the concrete, it'll get to like 105, 110 degrees. Um, maybe more like, could be significantly hotter also, and it'll be forced to be flat that whole time. Maybe that will be more effective. If, if this isn't like uncreased by the time this little tank on the steamer runs out of water, that's what I'll do. I'll stick it like back there with something heavy on it. Cause so far it kind of seems that not a lot is happening. <laughs> Uh, come on now. Maybe I'm supposed to hold it closer so it melts it more. Because I'm pretty sure the thread is like plastic basically, so... <laughs> okay. <laughs> and then if I like forcibly... Okay, Ethel is moving closer to the house. Maybe she'll move over to where the fan is. Nope, she looked at it and then walked the other way. Convincing cats to accept air conditioning and a fan. Man. I don't think she's ever had a fan. <laughs> my cat, this, she's not my cat. She's a stray who lives in my front yard. She um, has never experienced a fan, so. 
Maybe she'll like it. Maybe this will become a thing I have to do in the future, in the summer. Another step. I think it's kind of working, actually, that, especially just now. Wait. This one. Let me try it. I have literally, like, I have sweat dripping down, like, my butt. <laughs> like, it's coming from my back. And I just felt like a rivulet of sweat go down, not down my, like, the cheek, okay? It's not, like, in the middle. It's less gross than it sounds. It's just funny. It's not gross. Don't, don't, don't misunderstand me. The water's almost gone. Ow! I burnt myself. That's okay. Uh, okay. How are we doing? Are we closer? <laughs> um, I don't want to put on my hat unless I'm going to keep it on because it's going to fuck up my forehead makeup. Oh wait, the head is the top bit's also fucky. Okay. Um, that's going to be harder to fix. It's like a comb. Um. Uh. Okay. You have a four-legged ethel and a- oh my gosh. It's a good name. It's a classic. Um, hi, 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 how's it going? Hi, friends. We're gonna do hot tub. Um, and we're currently about to put kebabs in the grill. I bet that's enough. Okay, does that make up for how my hair hairdo is today? This is what a hat's supposed to look like, right? <laughs> like a big floppy hat. Okay, I'm I'm just gonna leave it at that and then for now. Cause I don't have enough of an attention span to like Okay, the underwire really is poking the shit out of my every my boob. Like right there on the side. That's unpleasant. Um, okay. Let's put the meat on the grill. Um, okay. Hi! How's it going? If any of you guys are really good at grilling, I appreciate all the input because this is only my third time and I don't know what I'm doing. Um, truly. And then we're gonna hot tub. Um, my screen is like dark so I can't actually tell if I look like a lunatic or not. So, you know what? That's life. Uh, okay, so, here's my little kebabs that I made. Um, it looks like that. Is that clean enough to do it? Is that clean enough? Does that look clean enough to put the meat on it? Because I don't know what it's supposed to look like actually like I don't know I didn't wash it in between I have a grill brush but it also seems kind of dirty you know do I just put it on there even though it looks like that it's gonna get like is that just charcoal like from last time is it safe? Please. I'm too crazy for this. I'm too neurotic. I need knowledge. You sure they will be fine? Do you guys know if they will be fine? <laughs> okay. Hold on. Uh, okay. I am going to do this now without dropping any of them, probably. Uh-oh. Turns out they're hard to grab. because some of the, like, I didn't do a great job of cooking, of, like, cutting the meat very easily. <laughs> so, um, and they're very uneven in terms of, oh god, the smoke. In terms of, like, 
terms of like what's in them. Also, that's definitely, I should put it on the side, right? Just a second. These ones are some kind of squash, but I got the squash from the store and then forgot what kind it was. And I, it might be like um, like a butternut squash, but I feel like I remember looking at squashes at the store on the app and being like, well, I've never heard of this kind before. I feel like that happened, but I can't remember for sure. Also, I have to leave a spot for my dog's little mini shish kebab that doesn't have any spices because dogs can't eat the spices that are on this. Um, this is not a good system. But here we are, nonetheless. Persisting. There's just an empty skewer there and I don't know why. <laughs> this, is, this is a little bit chaotic. They're kind of not uh, what I would call evenly placed. But it's because I have to leave room for my dog, Skewer. Okay, hold on. Jax is underneath on a... Oh shit, some of the spices got on it. Fuck. Okay, well one of the pieces doesn't have spices. loud. That was a little too loud for my liking, but that's okay. Um, I'm going to turn it up now. Okay. Now, here's the question. Do we get in the water? Or do we wait out here by the water? until, oh I guess, wait, I never turned off the steamer. Okay, I turned it off. Um, <laughs> um, let me actually do the chlorine test to see if it even is ready. I don't, I think it's probably still gonna have too much in it. I really wish that I could just hire someone to do this, but they're all, there's no availability. Um, it's better, but there's still too much chlorine. Come here, guys. I'm gonna make you really tall so I can sit on the stairs. Jack, why don't you go inside where the air conditioning is? Wait, I left my other phone and the water. I am an employee. I have a Halloween bucket with all my stuff in it because I don't have like a basket that I can just put all my stuff straight in and put it on and just chuck it as I can't get out of here. I need to just get a basket. <sighs> okay, I'm taking this off because I'm not in the sun. Okay. Also, I'm taking this this out cover off. Are you guys really not tall enough for me to sit on the top stair? Okay, hold on. I'm taking it off. Okay. I need to spray my face with more sunscreen. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. 
Okay, let me spray my face. Trick or treat. Sunscreen. Okay. Okay, and then I'm gonna put my hair up because it's too much. I can't deal with it. Okay. Oh God, Ugh. there's so much plant matter. <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on. I have to pull. <laughs> okay, don't look at me. I'm not done. I just, I can't, okay, 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 don't look at me, it's not done. Okay, I'm supposed to like take bits out, that's how you make it not look crazy and bad, but all my bits don't want to come out. I still look a little bit crazy, but that's okay. Um, let's see what the chat is saying. I'm trying to get a tan? Oh god, no. I did have a tan when Drea was here like two or three years ago. She stayed the summer with me, my friend Yandrea. And it was, we spent so much time in the hot tub that I had a tan, like a real one. It was amazing. I do need a machete to tame those jungles, seriously. The whole like canopy above the hot tub is getting taken over by the wisteria and I love it because it makes it feel like I'm in this little like oasis. I forgot to shake it. That was gross. I forgot to shake my electrolytes. How long do you think I should leave those shish kebabs in the water? I mean, the hot tub. No, the grill. Yeah. It's, it's a do it at home shake weight. Yeah, the underwire on this on on this top is like I keep trying to tuck the fabric over because it is just straight up stabbing my boob. Like, just it's just a hard wire stab, like metal stabbing my boob on both sides really unfortunate. Thank you! I got this swimsuit. I love this swimsuit, but I got it's not the most comfortable. <laughs> um, but I got it to do like 60s psychedelic photo shoots and stuff. I have like earrings and like outfit and all this stuff to do that kind of photo shoot. Um, I should really do more of that. I did one with this swimsuit. And I think I only posted like one photo from it. I need to like go back and edit a bunch of them. I have too much content that I need to edit and not enough Adderall in the world to finish it all. Um, it's not really too tight at all, but see the, the back is like an X, right? Which means that um, it's kind of strangling me a little bit. Um, the whole time I'm wearing it, it's strangling me and also poking my boobs with hard wire like with metal wire so it's not perfect but I have significantly less comfortable swimsuits too so like this is like mid-tier discomfort I should put like I gotta put like something on like if I had some like foam of some kind oh I do have foam <gasps> hold on we're gonna do um, boob rescuing uh, crafting real quick I'm gonna go grab some sticky foam.
back. Okay. Sticky foam. The only sticky foam I have is sparkly because I've got it for making pasties. I'm gonna try to like sandwich the end of the wire or maybe just stick a. It's not very subtle. <laughs> Like, uh, it's not like visually the most subtle thing, but honestly, I would rather have a weird square of gold glitter, like, on my boob than deal with, okay, so it's sticky. Ow, it's so painful. Okay. I'm placing it over promising it might take like a few pieces like because the wire shifts so like I might have to stick several pieces on but for now this seems to be working I haven't moved much on boob <laughs> that one I might have not placed as well okay Um, not bad. It feels better. I'm going to put more on. The glitter is kind of rough on the skin, which doesn't really help, but that's okay. It's still better than a sharp wire. I will take what I can get. So where is it sitting? Okay, so it just needs like another piece. Okay. Okay, let's see. Really? This side didn't work as well, but that's okay. I think I still got it to work. In theory, if I don't move a ton. Do you guys think my food is done? <laughs> is the grill done? Grilling? <laughs> Are the kebabs done? I don't know how long this sort of thing takes. Because I burnt it last time. The only time I've done it, um, made kebabs specifically, I burnt it. That was, yes, two days ago? I don't know. Yeah. I put sticky. Yeah, they're in. How long are they supposed to be in there? There's a window I could go look. Um, okay, here's the thing, guys. I've been using tretinoin on my butt and my butt only. I'm supposed to use it on my arms and hands and my face too, and like here. It's a. It makes. It's like. It's it's a prescription for making you prettier and your skin better. Um, but those parts of me see the sunlight too much and it makes you very sun sensitive. And it dries out your skin and irritates it. The point is my butt is bright red. <laughs> it's just because I'm trying to make it prettier. It's not like a weird disease. It's not like I didn't get spanked a bajillion times. Unfortunately, I um I, I don't have like a weird butt only, like I wasn't wearing pants that only have the butt cheeks out, got a sunburn, like, anyway, so the point is, it might look a little weird, uh, but you know, <laughs> uh, if that's the like only embarrassing thing about me today, that's a fucking miracle, um, and also very unlikely. I'm a pretty embarrassing person. Okay, let's check it. Um, except I got it. Okay. Uh, I think it needs a lot more time still. So I have it at 500 degrees, but I think it needs a lot more time. Yeah, it's, it's pretty, um, hold up. <laughs> it's, it's pretty, it's pretty pink. Um, hi Jack. 
Jack, why don't you go inside where the air conditioning is? You guys are really far away. Not really, but just for reaching. Okay. Anyway. We're making kebabs. Thank you for the hydrate. Hello, hello. I actually haven't touched the water today. And when I streamed the other day, hot tub, we discovered that the heater was on my hot tub. I thought it was off because in the summer I turned the heater off. But I had a family visit with little kids, so I turned it on <laughs> and forgot. So it was 104 degrees in the water. Oh my god, it's so nice. Okay, now the water is a good temperature. It's like slightly cooler than the air. So as soon as the sun the as soon as the sun gets rid of enough of the chlorine in the water we're getting in well let's finish the it's probably going to work out so that we finish the food eat and then hot tub i'll make sure not to drown now you're not supposed to eat and then go swimming <laughs> i won't drown in my hot tub i promise huh we're making uh, kebabs, chicken and vegetable kebabs. <sighs> Look good or be strangled, some will say both. <laughs> and I am often that person, but um, this is not my favorite type of being strangled. It does look good though. Like I'll take what I can get. This is the only strangling I can get in my life. Oh, I mean, you gotta, you gotta take what you can get. Um, I also put that floaty in the water. I'm very excited about it. Um, I'm super fucking excited about this food. I ate chocolate chips for lunch, full disclosure. I wanted to get to streaming, but I had to eat lunch so I could do stream. And I ate chocolate chips. It, I, I know, I know, it's bad. Um, hey Jack, are you seeing flies? My dog loves hunting flies, it's his favorite activity. Oh, you guys might know. Okay, I tweeted about this. Um, so my dog's favorite activity is hunting flies, but he's only like a foot tall. Um, and. I know he would really love it if the flies would come down and be towards the ground, right? So I want to find some... <laughs> I want to support my, my dog's hobbies. So I want to find um, something that I can like put on the ground that will like lure the, the flies towards the ground so that they fly around near the ground more so that my dog can hunt them better. <laughs> But it has to be like non, whatever it is, it has to be non-toxic to dogs. So if he touches it, it's not a problem, right? Or if a bug, like a fly lands on it and he tries to bite it, it's not like a problem. So what can I put on the ground to lure the flies on the, to, towards the ground so that my dog can hunt them because it's his favorite sum, summertime activity? I need some advice. A stinky animal bone. <laughs> well, I think Jack would just chew that then. I don't think, I think that would be, I think he would just try to eat the bone then and his teeth aren't really that good. So I think that would be a problem. What can, like, should I just use something stinky? Someone mentioned like pheromones. I don't know anything about fly pheromones. Is there like a product you can buy that is safe for dogs that is like fly pheromones? Fruit? Fruit could be good. Hold on, I'm gonna spray my back with sunscreen because I can't really reach it. 
This is sunscreen spray that you're not supposed to rub in. You're supposed to like wear it over makeup. <laughs> it's made by Gwyneth Paltrow. Blah, blah, blah. She's absolutely insane, but she makes a good spray over makeup sunscreen, so whatever. Um, okay, I got sunscreen on my phone. Um, fruit. Fruit could work. I don't know if it worked that well. Like, I feel like I have fruit in my kitchen a lot. Like, fruit that you're not supposed to put in the fridge. And the flies don't really go to it very well. And also, my dog loves fruit. So if I cut the fruit to get, like, the smell out there more, my dog is also pretty likely to try to eat the fruit. Fly attractants, but I'd want to make sure it's safe. Huh. How tall am I? 5'9". 175 centimeters. I'm six inches taller than the worldwide average. I think I'm like five inches, I'm five or six inches taller than um, the American average. I don't know. I'm tall. I'm tall, but I'm not like that. I'm tall. Okay, I'm tall, but I'm not like six foot tall. Um... Hi! Welcome! Hello! You have questions? Go for it. How is... Oh, geez. Poor little Cozy is very sheltered. He's never seen a woman in a bikini. And he's very scared. Go fuck yourself. Why are you on Twitch if you think everyone should be on, um, kick? Your own logic. You're not following your own logic because you know it's flawed. You know it's deeply flawed. Um, I joined a clown discord, by the way. I joined a clown discord. I went to the clown girl subreddit and then they were like, join us on discord. And so I joined the clown girl discord, clown person discord. So I might do another clown thing soon. I still have a lot of clown content from this last clowning. I want to do a scarier clown next time. Um, I don't, I don't say hi to people unless I know them, or well, unless I recognize their names as a name that I'm familiar with, because. That word could mean something in a different language. So I'll say hi. Hi to your friends. Hi. Um, safe. It's half. It's like part safe for work, part not safe for work. It's like both. Part half and half, I guess. Mostly not safe for work, but also safe for work. So I'm gonna, cause I do. I, I can't talk about that. <laughs> um, yeah, clown girls. Our clown girls. A Brazilian Valorant streamer? Oh. What does his name mean? I've been to Brazil. I love Brazil. I spent like three weeks in Brazil a long time ago because my sister is married to a Brazilian man. Uh, love it. Love Brazil. It was so fucking nice. Well, hi. Um, yeah, I fucking love... Hi, welcome. I love... I love being in Brazil. Except I got tonsillitis, like really terrible tonsillitis, and it was actually, um, we were worried that I wouldn't make it on the flight, like that they wouldn't let me on the flight because I should be in a hospital. Um, but my brother-in-law, the Brazilian man, his, his brother or his sister, I don't remember, is a doctor. So she just went to the pharmacy and got me, a, like just got me some antibiotics that are like way stronger than what you can just get in America, and they're they're like illegal in America, because they're, yeah, they're illegal in America, these antibiotics. And so I took the antibiotics and it made me well enough to come back to America and get my tonsils taken out. But I still had a fucking phenomenal time in Brazil. Yeah, I wanna do more clown stuff, cause I think it's so fun, cause it's so creative. Like makeup is one of my biggest hobbies. And also, 
like just any and like creative like costuming and just like stuff that isn't necessarily cosplay because I I'm not super into like dressing up like characters that already exist I like coming up with the designs myself more so like clowning stuff is super good plus it can be like silly it can be scary it can be sexy like I like that it has like you have options thank you I got it for like psychedelic stream psychedelic photo shoots um okay if you think you saw my boobs on the internet naked you didn't <laughs> there are a lot of photoshopped and AI images of me on the internet that people desperate people have made where they have but that's not my boobs you see that's like not real the number of people who have literally sent me photos like that like badly photoshopped some are really well photoshopped but it's still not my boobs it's not my junk like it's not my ass like the people who will send me that and be like wow you're so hot naked I made this of you but it's like not me <laughs> there's like there's like Pornhub uh, videos that are Moxie Mary gets railed blah 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 it's not me it's just a girl with similar hair and like a kind of similar figure like it's not even me people just want to think that it's me because it's like a fantasy so like anyway so the point is you have not seen my tits um yeah no they exist out there yeah um the internet is a shitty place gotta say um okay here we go okay Checking on the meat again. Okay, I think I need to flip. I need. I think I need to flip them. Ow, this is hot. I shouldn't have put it on there. Ow. <laughs> It's really hot. I'm gonna turn the tent down. Just for a second to stop blowing hot air at me. Okay. Um, I'll start at the back, I guess. I also don't know how to tell when these are done. Because they're all different. Oh, that was, that was kind of burnt. Super great um, motor control with stuff like this. Like I can't really grab it very well. I'm learning. These ones aren't done. But it looks like some of them are like close to being done, and some of them are not at all close. Oh no, an onion fell off. Jack's skewer is done. I got. I made my dog one. pepper. Okay. I've learned Jesus. I've learned my lesson on hanging it on the little hook so 
sure it doesn't stay that hot. Okay, I'm gonna wait like another five minutes and then take off the, the squash was pretty fucking burnt. So I don't think it's gonna need that much time. voice I'm using the fluffy mic that the, it's a road mic that attaches to the thing um, and how yeah it's a road mic that plugs straight into my phone like there's no cable or anything involved it literally has the little like lightning or whatever the iPhone it just has that built in. Okay. Um, it's incredibly hot. How hot is it actually? I'm going to look. It is 100 degrees out and it feels like 103. <laughs> feels like 103. When the food's done, we're going to eat a bunch of food and then I'll get in the hot, the when the water, which is not as hot as the air. The water is cooler than the air, so it'll feel nice. Um, but yeah, it's pretty unbearable. I wanted to stream really early today. First of all, because I got up at 4 a.m. and made the meat and vegetables ready, like cut them and spice them and stuff. And so I was impatient. I went back to sleep. I just couldn't sleep. I woke up at 4. But uh, point is, I then also... I also... Yesterday was like the perfect day. Yesterday was like the most magical weather. And I had a really bad headache, like a migraine. And I couldn't stream. And I had, I was so excited to stream and I couldn't. So the point is that uh, I wanted to stream early today because it, where I live, it gets windier the later you go in the day. When it's windy that will probably cause I haven't yet like actually used the grill the pellet grill with oh I forgot to turn the temperature back up I turned it down so I could uh, handle it and then I didn't turn it back up I should get tongs hold up I should get tongs that are like longer even. Those are like a foot long. I should get like long ass tongs so I can stay farther away from the heat. Is that even a thing? <laughs> what if I get, you know those things? They're like dinosaur heads sometimes. They're like something old people use to pick stuff up, like newspapers and stuff. Like it has a little light, like you grip it with your hand and the, it goes like that, it's on a stick. What if I used a, the grilling version of that? Is that innovation or what? Please tell me that exists for grilling purposes. My water just fell and kind of got crushed. Hold on, I'm gonna go get it. I gotta get it. I'll be right back. This can go over here. This can go behind me to cover my butt so I don't get a sunburn because of the tretinoin. 
because retinoin makes you super sensitive to sunlight. And I am actually afraid of getting like a bad sunburn on my butt cheeks only. Um, that would be unpleasant. You guys are so fucking crooked, man. How do I always do that? It's because this is the wobbliest trap tripod ever. Jack, go inside where the air conditioning is. Or at least sit in oh, the fan is trying to oscillate. I put the fan sideways on the ground so that it would be pointing at where the cat likes to lie. Stray cat. But it so I took it off the base and I'm now looking at it and the bottom bit where you normally attach the base is trying to oscillate. God damn it. <laughs> One moment. I'll be right back. I'm actually going to put more sunscreen on my butt because I am worried about that. I have co Korean stick sunscreen and I put a st I have several of them and I put a sticker on the one that's for my butt so that I don't use my butt sunscreen on my face. <laughs> Cuz that is um you know, that's being organized. Okay. I'm an organized young lady. Okay, we're fine. The tretinoin will not win. I mean, it will. It'll make my butt prettier, but like, it won't win in terms of burning the fuck out of me. It, the problem is it's so red just from the treatment itself that like, I don't know. <laughs> like. How would I know if it got sunburnt unless it got like bad, you know? Okay. I seem a little bit like a crazy person and that's because I am. Oops, my towel's in the water. <laughs> Who could have predicted that? Okay, now I can relax a little bit. Yeah, honestly, because you set, spend a lot of time on your ass in life, especially if you play video games as a job, like, and you edit and do other things on computers and stuff. <laughs> yeah, we are all mad here. Uh, oh, wait, has it been five minutes? Show the dog. He actually just went inside. And now, thankfully, because he's very old and chubby. And I really worry about him getting heat stroke just because he wants kebab so bad. Oh, I gotta take a picture. Hold on. There's this giant, like, 14 by 8 foot, like, tapestry. It's like a backdrop that's like a beach, like, ocean scene. And I have it next to the door just on the ground, scrunched up, because I meant to hang it up. So you get because my house is ugly. My house is, like, beige stucco. <laughs> and I thought it would be cool to have it here, so, like... If the camera's facing, if I'm in the water. Anyway, point is, I haven't set it up yet, but it's by the door on the ground and he is lying on it. He has discovered it. And it is now his little doggy bed, apparently. Okay, I bet the squash is burning. A mosquito just bit me. God damn it. Um, okay. I just got comfortable and said I was gonna relax. And now I think it's time to take the squash out. <laughs> Okay, I need to get um, I need to get a plate or a tray or something for all the like finished kebabs. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, ow! <laughs> Wooden beam. Uh. Okay, I'm gonna make you guys like a normal height again. <sighs> okay. <laughs> um. Okay. Hold on. Just you know digging my swimsuit out. Uh, okay, I'm gonna go get a tray. What's happening? I'm leaving my phone out here. Hey, Red Spectre, thank you for gifting for us and why is this up? Thank you, 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 that's really nice of you. That makes 610 gift subs, holy shit. Thank you. Okay, I'm putting my phone down so that I can, I can grab a tray or something.
this thing. I don't know what I'm doing. Let's attempt to do this thing. I'm gonna move this. To put them on. Let's see the situation. Um, oh shit. <laughs> I think they're done. I think they have been done. Does this look done? <laughs> Does this look done to you? Hold on. The light. Does this look done to you? <laughs> this is such a that's onion, don't look at that. That the chicken and stuff. It's not a this is the least cooked one. Should I put it in longer? It's uh, I gotta cut it open. Contrary to like what you may believe from seeing this stream, I do actually cook like a lot, a lot, and I'm good at it. But grilling is like a whole different skill set. Like, that's gotta be done though, right? So I'm doing the power off thing and then I'm going to use the brush, the grill brush after it's no longer incredibly hot. Um, but now we have these. We have things. Okay, let's examine them in good lighting where we can actually... Hold on, I'm going to grab a little table. <laughs> I'm grabbing a little table. little antique tables in my house. <laughs> this is the like least old one and the most I think it's not actually it's just like old. Not super antique. Okay let's see what we got. Okay, so these are like the least cooked ones. Oh wait, where's my phone? So I can see chat. Okay. Hundred and sixty five. Well I was cooking it at um five oh yeah, it's cooked all the way through. I was cooking it at um five hundred degrees. Uh let me look at the thickest pieces that are like not as cooked. Yeah, super cooked all the way through. Do these look right? Did I do it right? Huh? Less cooked. The squash, I mean, there's definitely some burning happening. But, like, there's some good ones in here. This one's kind of falling apart. But, oh, huh? <laughs> okay. Not burning, charring. Oh, I see. Charring, it's fancy. Um, okay, I wanna eat this food. Where are we gonna sit to eat? Hold on, I have a, I have a chair. I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab a blanket. 
to put over the chair because the chair has like the cats like to sit on the chair and I'm allergic to the cat. Hold on, hold on. Fucking doing it. Oh. oh, you can see inside my house. <laughs> We're moving over here. <laughs> some orb lights and my ring light and my camera. <laughs> okay. Um, normally I eat these with like a fork and the, unless it's like street food, unless I'm like on the street. Oh my God, so good. I fucking love onions. Jack's little ki uh, kebab <laughs> can't be forgotten. Uh, I want this one because that onion looks really good. <laughs> I'm actually I can't eat mushrooms unfortunately. I love mushrooms. This one's a little overdone. kebab in just a second. Oh no! Mmm! <laughs> I think I overspiced them. So like I probably should have put less of that. It just looked, well, okay, so when I made them the first time, first of all, it was pork, it wasn't chicken. And it was, um, like I put the, the spices on it after it was already on the thingies. And it seemed like it had more on it than this, but this, I cut it all up and then I put the spices in it and like mixed it all up before putting them on the skewers. So I think even though it looks like it has less of the spices, I put way more, but it's still good. Jack, honey, you want, Jack, you want yours? Come here, come here, come on up, up, up. Jack, your chicken is right here, you gotta come up. Okay, this is my little potato. Om nom 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 nom. <laughs> He's got a little summer haircut. Okay, so the mystery squash, it does look seem a little charred. Good. The spice mix I used has a lot of salt in it. It's extremely salty. Every time I make it, I learn. Jack, this has 
This says spices on that you can't have. You have to have your own kebab. I want all the onions. I want every onion. This one's got a lot of onions. squash but this was a squash that looked like butternut squash but I think when I was ordering groceries I saw the name of a squash that I'd never tried before and I was like I've never heard of this squash I'll try it it was like a really small acorn squash looking thing but it tastes different I don't know I got this bikini as like to do psychedelic photo shoot actually. Like even I put even though I put too much of the spice mix, this is a very much very much a success. Yeah, I like trying new shit, and especially when it comes to like roasting it. Like I feel like there's not a single squash on this earth that isn't good when you roast it. You know what I mean? Like it's just like good. <laughs> I'm just gonna eat all the onions. I made too much food. What the fuck? Why am I like this? Garlic bulbs the next time? Oh, that would be really good. I might do that. That would be good. Hmm. I just want all the onions. Oh. <laughs> that one was mostly charcoal. Um. Okay, we have created a very satisfying meal. Many meals, except for the... <laughs> there is a lot, <laughs> there's a lot of salt. Um, <laughs> I've definitely learned something about that spice mix. It's one of the Amish ones I got in Indiana. And that is that if you leave it on for hours, like while you sleep on the stuff, it get, like, gets like soaked up in there and you don't have to use as much. I'm learning. I feel like grilling is like a whole different skill, completely different from cooking. Like I'm a really good cook, but this is like so different. And I use, like I'm really like, there's a lot of spices involved in my cooking, you know? But with grilling, I feel like it's like, it's just really different. Like I don't know what I'm doing at all. This is so much food. I probably have so much shit on my face now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I got three of them, three different ones, and I kind of want to get the rest of the ones because I know people up there who could like mail me them. I want to do a series where we try different spice mixes. I also got za'atar. I don't know how to say that. It's like a Middle Eastern or Greek or Lebanese spice that I use to make like shawarma-esque. I make like 
that kind of stuff. It's so fucking good with like falafel and I use, I get baba ganoush and stuff like that. I got that recently. So fucking good. I love new spice mixes. I love them so much. I didn't take my allergy pill before eating. I'm suddenly becoming exceedingly itchy. <laughs> Mistakes have been made. That's okay. That's okay. It's just... Hold on. Hold on. I'm gonna get a Ziploc bag to put all the leftovers in because that's a lot of food. Give Jack the rest of his pee. Okay, little man. Oh my god, the flies. There's a lot of them. Okay, you get some chicken. There's so many, holy shit. Big truck. Sound of big truck. Uh okay. Onion. 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 <laughs> he doesn't like bell pepper, he won't eat that. I tried. My dog loves vegetables and fruit, like loves, loves. But he does not like peppers. He likes spicy stuff, like salsa. I don't give it to him on purpose, but like when there's been accidents that where stuff is spilled. Or like, I live in New Mexico, everything has chili in it. Um, his dogs can't feel spicy. Um, they can't feel that sensation. So, uh, it's just tasty for him. I'm so itchy. Okay, we have leftovers. Okay, we have leftovers. Jack has only a tiny bit left of his. Come on, little man. Oh, it's so good. Okay, I'm gonna put this in the fridge real quick. I probably have so much, like, so much, I don't know, stuff in my teeth. Um, there are so many flies. This is what I should do. If I'm using spices, obviously right now I can't, but I should use something that had food but doesn't anymore to lure the flies so my dog can hunt them. Anyway, putting this in the fridge. Oh wait, he does have more. Jack, your skewer still has them. You want your kebab? I kind of overcooked it, but that's okay. Wait. <laughs> Oh, could you even see him? Uh, here you go. Nom, 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 nom. He's been so looking forward to this the whole time I've been out here cooking. Nom, 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 nom. Crunch, crunch. Okay, I'm putting the food inside. You guys can hang out here. 
And look at my girl. <laughs> look at the love of my life. Um, so, I need to fix lipstick and stuff like that. You know, but I'm going to put this inside. Uh, that's ready to be put away, actually. So I'm going to do it all at once. And we're going to do it together. Kind of. Actually, I'm going to put on gloves for this one part. Hold on. I've opened my garage. Um, I've opened my garage. I have it, the plate that had the raw meat on it, or the tray or whatever. I don't want to just touch it and get gross raw meat germs on me while I throw it away. Because then I'm going to touch the rest of the grill. And I don't want to have to go inside again and wash my hands again. Um, okay. Oh, wait, I'm supposed to do the thingy, the thingy you guys told me about. Um, okay, hold on. This comes with me. Okay. The, the thing I didn't do last time, where you, like, use the brush, because I thought you are supposed to do it before you use it, but it turns out you use it after. Okay, don't look at my red butt. It it's not a sunburn. I didn't get spanked a million times. I walked. There's an explanation and uh Okay. Anyway. Here, right? I have the grill. Yeah. I have the chat. Sorry, I haven't read the chat. Welcome back. Oh right, because I walked I was like, did my stream break? Um, so you're supposed to like rub it. I don't really understand what this is supposed to accomplish. An onion fell down onto the grease tray. Like, should I take that onion out? <laughs> Are you serious? Is this just like... grab that onion. I'm gonna grab that onion. Hold on. I'm gonna go grab something to grab that onion with. It's probably super hot. Um, Hi, Cam. yet. Okay, I have brought a fork. Okay. Ooh, it's loud. Oh, what is this? Something fell out. I gotta throw it far so my dog doesn't eat it. Okay. Um, and onion. Oh, shit. Okay, I don't want my dog to eat it. I have to grab it. any of the animals to eat this. Okay, so this in theory is done. Question mark? I I probably have so much like fucking pepper or some shit on my face. I gotta fix my lipstick. And look in a mirror. I gotta look in a mirror. Hold on real first.
realized that in my little Halloween bucket of sunscreen that I actually have my lipstick in there and it's probably melted. Oh, yeah. It's still lipstick shaped, but it is definitely melted. I'll, I'll be right back. Just, no, look at my grill. The thing where that I the foam that I put on to stop my swimsuit from stabbing me with the underwear has slipped. Okay, let's get in the water. <laughs> um, I need to drink a lot, and so let's get in the water. Um, I should probably reapply sunscreen first because I'm smart. Oh wait, let's put the grill in the garage first. I opened the garage for a reason. Okay, first of all, hold on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take you guys, but first. I'm unplugging it because I put the plug inside. Okay. The other day I realized that I have free will, and so I was at the hardware store and I bought like a bunch of extension cables, indoor and outdoor. Uh, because they're always like, there's never enough extension cables, but like growing up, you have no control over that. And I just like, like it's always, there's never enough. And I just realized, oh wait, I have free will. I can just buy them. <laughs> like, uh, okay, so that's that. Let's roll it in to the, the garage because it's cooled off enough. Let me get a you guys can come over here. Um, Don't judge me for my garage, it's functional. It's functional. Okay. 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 Let me check the chlorine in the pool. Let me close the garage. Stick this inside. Drink some gravel water. check the chlorine. Okay, I'm going to drink a swig of water before I do anything else. <coughs> it's only been an hour and a half. I'm pretty sure my Adderall has not worn off. Okay, let's check the chlorine. Because the sun, it, there's no stabilizer in it, so the sunscreen, the sun should have brought it down to the levels I wanted it to be at. But I don't know if it happened or not. Don't look at my face. Okay. Okay. 
How are we looking? Why is there orange there? Wait, okay, it's still a high. Oh wait, no, that's not that. Yeah, it's still a high. The total chlorine has gone down. The free chlorine has not gone down very much. So we have to wait. Pause. That's okay, because we have other things to do. I'm gonna put on this weird hat again. Oh wait, my hair's up, Never mind. I'm not gonna do that. We're gonna sit on the stairs and we're gonna, Jack, go inside. It, there's air conditioning. Okay, let's drink some water. Let's hydrate. <laughs> I want to make you guys as tall as you can go. Okay. Okay. And then, oh yeah, we're going to put more sunscreen on. Okay, let's do that. Okay. Giant cake and eat it. I can't just buy a cake. I have, I have allergies. I have to bake my own cakes. I do actually have cake mix. All my life too. Growing up, yeah. It's just like sometimes you forget. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Jake, for looking at my grill. Thank you, thank you. Why well, use a purse when you got a bucket? Well. All of my purses can't get accidentally dunked into chlorinated water, right? So I really, what I really need is like a basket. But this is what I have. So, um, this is my sunscreen, chocolate. <laughs> I forgot that I put chocolate chips in there. <laughs> Emergency chocolate chips. I have like five to six, I don't know, five different sunscreens in here. And... Uh, two pairs of sunglasses. It's mostly sunscreen. Um, glasses wipes for my sun, my sunglasses that I'm not wearing. Okay. Um, let me read the chat because I missed so much. Yeah, that's true. The flies almost with the food got down to Jack's level, but then he cared more. Like if there's actually like the possibility of him getting food. He cares more about that than the flies, but like just barely. So I really need something that he won't, so he can really enjoy his fly hunting. For context, my dog loves fly hunting, but he's a foot tall. How many of these are you supposed to drink in a day? How many? Okay, so I'm a big person, right? So if I'm bigger than the average person, doesn't that mean I need to drink more than the average person? So what's the equation of like how much water you have? Because they used to say eight glasses of water, whatever. But like, not everyone's the same size, right? We need different amounts of water. So what is the equation? Like, how do you find out whether you need more sunscreen? No. Yeah, more water. Like how 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 much? That's what I want to know. Um, at, oh, I didn't mean to use this kind. <laughs> okay, hold on. I meant to use the Japanese, the Korean roll-on one, but I fucked up. And here we are. The problem with this one is that it gets all over the actual swimsuit too. So then it, like, it's like I look like I. It looks like I spilled glue on myself. Elmer's glue. That's what it looks like. Nothing else. It's my butt one. No sticker. That means it's not for my butt. Oh, I should just use the regular one for my legs. You can uh, contribute to my sunscreen fund at my links by the way i have great links and you too can contribute towards <laughs> getting um get <laughs> my my sunscreen budget <laughs> my extensive sunscreen budget 
<laughs> um, man, fucking hell. Oh, jeez, I put so much. I look like a ghost, a splotchy ghost. Okay, well, whatever. I already kind of looked like a ghost to begin with, so whatever. But yeah, <laughs> I got great legs. Great legs. Help me afford all this sunscreen. Help me afford all this sunscreen. Oh, Jesus. There's so much, and it rubs in so badly. I really gotta try a different brand. Problem is the Korean stuff always comes in really small containers because they typically cover more skin. Like it's more, it's not for like hanging out outside all day. It's like going in between the office and you have long sleeves on. So like smaller containers. I watched a like hour long thing about sunscreen technology and like how it's done in different countries and stuff. I care, <laughs> I care a lot. Um, okay. Okay, this is, oh my god, my hands are too slippery. Come on, boob. Twist, boob, twist. Part of the problem with Korean sunscreen, too, um, is that, well, really not just Korean. There's a lot of issues with, like, sunscreen, um, reacts like it functions differently sometimes if in like heat like if the product gets really hot it can alter the efficacy well it's like 105 out here um so it makes it kind of questionable because it's like so is it working or not you know but they don't really do that ex like testing of that as much as i would like personally because people are like why would you be at a hundred degree heat? Um, okay. I know we just did my butt a little bit ago, but try no one, man. That's just rough. It's so red. Okay. I am so slimy. And there's like leaves and fucking spices stuck to me <laughs> and there's so much sunscreen of my very clean hair that I was oh man I'm a mess guys but I'm a happy mess at least <laughs> I just wish the bottoms were like this like I wish they were like high like high like I don't mind my stomach showing I just don't want I want it to be like either high with like high hip where the cutout, you know, like 80s-ish. Oh, I almost slipped. Or I want it to be um, like smaller, <laughs> like a Brazilian kind of style. Okay. Uh, why? Oh, it, oh my God, that foot has sunscreen on the bottom of it. Oh no. I've oiled, oiled the stairs. That's actually for real dangerous. Um, I'm trying to scrape it off the side. Okay, well, we're just gonna wait for that to go away. Okay, okay, I'm slimy. I don't have to touch anything except my phone, which is now also slimy. Won't you create a good camel toe? No, <laughs> no. Not, it depends on the cut. Like, these ones don't cause that problem. Like, if I were to, like, pull them up, like, freakishly high, yeah. But, like, they're, they're so, they're very stretchy. <laughs> like, it's not an issue. Not a concern. Um. Hello, from France. How do you feel about the Olympics? Uh, what are your Olympics-related feelings. I gotta come down here. I'm so afraid of slipping, like forgetting that there's sunscreen on the bottom of my foot. <sighs> Let's go sit in that chair over there. 
I'm afraid for my own well-being. Hold on. Oh. so hard. Okay. You guys can come down here, I think. Let's find out. Let's find out what the best angle is. Oh! <laughs> I forgot there's no cushion <laughs> on this wicker chair. It's just a blanket. No cushion underneath. Um, it was just Harder and lower than I thought it would be. Okay, let me put you guys like way farther back. Okay. Okay. I'm just the sunscreeniest person. I feel so slimy. Uh, when it sits down, yeah, I'm um not good at sitting still. Um, in fact, I'm very bad at it. <laughs> Did the bikini look crazy? Um, yeah. But yeah, I have great links where you can, um, exclamation mark L in the chat, where you can support my sunscreen habit. I'm going to take a really sweaty sunscreeny photo. Hold on. I look uh, wild. Oh my god, there's mascara everywhere too. Oh no! Why didn't you tell me? Uh -oh. The problem with having deep set eyes and long eyelashes is that um, they 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 will touch like they they touch the skin and then the mascara comes off like above the eye <laughs> like under the eyebrow and it's really not a great look. That's okay. We take a sweaty photo over here. I worked very hard on this makeup today, and I really like it, so I want evidence. The makeup that I'm currently sweating off, oh my god, I'm, I'm like dripping. I should finish that drink. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh wait, where's my chat? Fuck. There's so much sunscreen on my phone and my hands. Hold on. Uh, okay, maybe that boob to the rescue. Okay, that worked. Okay. Oops, I closed. The, I closed it. I accidentally. I was trying to close the camera off, but I closed Twitch instead. Sorry, I can't read what you are writing. Um. Man, yeah, I want to get in the water. I wish the chlorine... I mean, it's my fault. I put a lot in. Well, it's its not really, like, a mistake. It's more like trying to figure out without stabilizer how fast the chlorine is going to evaporate based on how much sun exposure the water has. It's really hard. I'm not a professional. Um, they're all the pool, like, guys in my town are all, like, crazy booked. So I, I have to do it all myself. And I'm not good at it. Zero percent chance of rain. My oh, I would love some rain though. Yeah, I do love that Twitch lets you see past comments now when you enter. I fucking love that. You guys are coming closer. I want you different. <laughs> I want you different. Maybe up higher and down, kind of cozier. Yeah, cozier. Um. You'll be my pool guy. I really do need a pool guy. Like, and that's the thing, is like I'm willing to pay the pool professional people, and I'm willing to pay them, like, uh, you know? 
but they're just so booked and they've been booked for three years. <laughs> like, I just can't find like a pool guy. Um, but yeah, so I've been doing it myself and learning how to do it, but there's still things to learn. The learning doesn't stop. So <laughs> this week it just happened to be how fast chlorine goes away without stabilizer, depending on sunlight. That's what I learned this week. But yeah, at least the water's not 104 degrees anymore. He would be a pool guy, honestly, yeah. There's clearly demand for him. There's definitely de demand for pool guys. Um, I would love some rain. Well, we haven't had like a normal monsoon here yet. I'm so sweaty, I look interested. Um, yeah, we haven't had a normal monsoon yet. Like, yeah, last year we didn't have monsoon, and then this year we also aren't really having monsoon. Like a tiny bit of rain here and there, <laughs> that's it. Normally we have like a real monsoon with like big old thunderstorms and flooding and like um, hailstorms and shit like that, you know? But nothing. Oh my god, there's a breeze. Oh, it feels good. That feels good. <laughs> I'm almost done. And then I have more water bottles inside. I don't know how much I'm supposed to drink. Oh yeah, we were talking about that. Um, I'm so excited to continue playing the Desperate Housewives game. I'm so fucking excited. I'm so excited. A mobster has moved into the neighborhood and he has a crush on us. And he m might know something about our past. We have amnesia, you see. Um, I'm really, really eager to get in there. There's like, le there's like plant matter and like all kinds of shit everywhere. Like fucking dirt and everything is sticking to me. <laughs> Whatever ash from the, the, the pellet grill. I love that grill so much. I love it so much. It does, it smells so good. Also, I looked at it, I looked at the thing to see what kind of wood I was using and it was hickory something, which um, next time I'll try mesquite because that's more like local. <laughs> it's like a thing we grow here. Um, 35 milliliters of water per kilogram. Oh, one of you guys knew the answer? Do I tan? I, I tan like this much. Um, but in general, I just freckle mostly. I do sometimes get a tan, but also with a lot of freckles. And um, I burn like unbelievably bad. Uh, okay, um, 35 milliliters of water. Through, I have to look up how many kilograms. <laughs> okay, how many? Kilograms is 230 LBS. So I weigh 104 kilograms. Okay, so then what was it again? 104 kilograms times 35 milliliters. 104 times. Oh god, do I just. Where's my calculator? Uh. This is not my normal phone, this is my second phone, and so it means that I know nothing about where anything is on it. I'm just gonna let the internet do it for me. Hold on. 104, 104 times 
I lost, I, I, I immediately forgot what number it was. Fuck. Was it 39 or 35? Uh, 35. <laughs> wow, okay. Uh, 35. Okay, so I need, um, 3,640 milliliters. Okay. Um... This is 1.5 liters. Oh, I lost it. Fuck, balls. Hold on. Is it gonna do it? Okay, well, I lost it. So I basically need two of these in a day at my weight, in theory. Well, more than two of these, but, you know, two of these. Wait, 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 that many? Wait, 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 wait. 104 kilograms, I must have done, okay. Wait, that's only that much? That's only, like, a gallon? Fluid ounces. One quart, what, how many? <laughs> how many liters are in a gallon? Um... Can you tell I moved to America at sort of an, an essential time where all of this, even though I'm like good at math, all of this shit got scrambled so bad by switching to the imperial system when I was a kid? Uh, three points. Okay, so I need that many liters. This is 1.5 liters, so I need two and a little bit of this. Two and a third. That's a lot. I can do it. That's a lot. That's so much water. And this isn't even water. This has body armor in it because I knew I would be sweating like crazy. Hmm. Thank you for mathing for me. Um, the mobster is, uh... Kind of Robert De Niro looking, I would say. Hmm. He's not, like, bad looking. I don't trust him, obviously. Obviously. But he's, he does wear a suit, and he is very flirty. And I do want to know what he knows about me. But he hasn't apparently quite... Like, it's unclear whether he know, like has figured out that he knows me. Like, whether he did know me before the amnesia happened. Hello. Sitting in front of a computer for too many years. Yeah, I don't do tanning really very much. I, like, last, when Dre was here, I got a tan because for three and a half months, we spent almost every day hot tubbing, swimming or whatever. And just over time, I got a light tan from three months, you know? But like, if I am in direct sunlight or near a, an open window, a window too much, I'll get a sunburn. Getting a sunburn inside your own house fucking sucks. I figured out why the UV index is so bad here. It's because we're at super high altitude. That's why our UV index is the worst for all the conti contiguous United States. Um, it's because we're south and then also really fucking high altitude. Jack is barking inside the house and I don't know why. I think he's barking for me to go lie in bed with him, but I'm not gonna do that right now. We haven't even gotten the hot tub yet. Um, I don't know who that is. K... KCOs. I don't know who that is. That sounds... I don't know. There's a lot of people with the name Casey, and I can't tell. I have trouble. Hi, Shy. How are you doing? Hi! Hi, Sweet. 
sweetie. I love Potato Man. If I if I bring you up here, you will get so much sunscreen on you, and I you just got groomed, so I'm not gonna do that. <sighs> At least the breeze is picked up. I really wonder which microphone you guys are hearing me through, because I have an external mic on my phone, but I don't know if that's the one that the phone is using. Pizza. Yeah, very cute when the when the pets decide that it's bedtime, and Jack is an old man, so he his be, the, his bedtime's very early. Therefore, my bedtime is very early. There's no cat inside. Ethel is sleeping under the juniper bush. Um, first day back from vacation. What did you do for vacation? Yeah, I can spend a lot more time outdoors, like enjoying being outside in places with like, that where the UV index isn't 12. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, if I go to fucking Germany in the summer, it's so nice because it's like, oh, it's sunny and beautiful, but I'm not getting burnt immediately. <laughs> like, I can, like, it's just so, so much better. It's really hard here. Well, I should wait. To, for the, to, to, the, to the mountains for your birthday? That's so nice. Wow, happy birthday. I hope you had a good one. Hi, Jack. Hi, sweetie. Hi, scrunkly boy. Hi, scrunkly. Jack, you can't come up here. I'm so slathered in sunscreen, and it'll get in your fur, and it'll be really gross. I love you. Go inside. Go inside where the air conditioning is. He wants me to go inside. He wants me to go inside so much, so badly. We haven't even gotten the water because the chlorine hasn't evaporated enough. Hot springs? Oh my god. Oh, 30, how exciting! <laughs> that is very exciting. Hot springs sound magical. Super. Jack, I'm not going inside. You go inside. You go inside. You go inside. You. He's little. Oh my god, I gotta take a picture of his little face. Jack, you're looking real scrungly. Oh, there's so much sunscreen on my. Hold on. Um. Oh no. Hey, Jack. He's. I pulled out my phone and he's literally just turned. And is facing away from me. To pout. Like he's not looking at anything. He's pouting. Because I won't go inside. And he's like, it's hot out here. The door is open. He could go inside where the air conditioning is. Jack, Jack. I love you. Oh, Mr. Photogenic. Go inside. Go inside, Jack. Go inside, honey. Fucking hell. Um, uh, know something you don't, dogs. That's true. I, Jack is always like this, though. He doesn't like when I'm in the hot tub because he can't get up in there. And he doesn't like when I'm, like, not where he is for long periods of time. And he wants to be inside with the air conditioning. And so he want, thinks that I should be in the air conditioning so that he can, because he, he's like, you know, we're a unit. <laughs> we're a unit, so we've got to be together. But he wants to be in the air conditioning. We have fights. We have arguments about this. Um, your first gray hair today. 30 for a second day already. Your first one, though? That's not bad. I, um... I got my first one when I was like 15. <laughs> so 30 is pretty good. You're doing pretty well. Don't worry. Yeah, no, Jack and I absolutely have arguments about this. Um, 10,000% argue all the time about this exact topic. 
<sighs> oh, the breeze. It's hot air that's blowing, but it's movement. So it's better than nothing. Um, it's very possible, too, that the chlorine will not evaporate fast enough. I kind of have a feeling like that's going to happen, like that it's not going to happen for us today. <sighs> we did get to grill, though. Um, I'm going to look at the weather report. Hi, honey. Sphinx kitties? Are you kidding, Lala? Oh my god, I'm so excited for you. The cutest little raw chicken babies. That is so precious. I'm really happy for you. Oh my god. I would love a sphinx, but I know that I'm not responsible enough. Because I don't have it in me to like remember to give them their bath every week. Because I struggle with like, if I get depressed, I don't want to shower. So then I struggle. Like I, I feel like I wouldn't be a good enough sinks parent myself um but they are great animals and i love bean drea's sphinx that's my friend she has a sphinx and that cat and i we love each other all right um i didn't pulled up my calendar that's not weather <sighs> okay let's see um all right tomorrow not today Tuesday? What Really what I have to look at is the wind. That's what matters. How are we doing right now? So we're right there. Tomorrow there's going to be bigger gusts, but not bad. The following day, Wednesday, is going to be kind of windy, but this week's actually, well, ow. Yeah, this week is actually looking pretty good for wind. Um... So it looks like there's going to be a lot of hot tub days. A lot of hot tub days. I still have blobless in my freezer that I have to defrost that then we can put on the grill. Um, hmm. What about baked potato and blobless? Like, like rosemary potato or something? We could do grilling, grilling and hot tubbing stream again. But do bratwurst with bratwurst with um, <laughs> with uh, baked potatoes. That could be pretty good. Hmm. I am intrigued by this idea. I feel like the sunscreen is still just like. Like, I'm so shiny, and it's just everywhere, and I feel like it has not really soaked in. <laughs> will it ever, will I ever stop feeling like I have a thin layer of oil all over me? Too much, too much. We, I'm not quitting yet though, because I put on a lot of sunscreen, and it would be a waste if I went inside. We're gonna wait. The breeze feels really good. It's it. Uh, we're gonna wait a little bit longer, and then we're gonna see if the chlorine is like how much progress has been made with the chlorine. And then tomorrow it'll be good because it'll get more sun before then. Better be shiny than burn true. There's a fly on my boob. Go away. Um, yeah. Part of the problem is when I, like, when my skin gets at all warm, like, hot, or, like, when I, like, when the sun touches me, like, there's direct light on me, it, I turn bright red, but it's not, like, a sunburn. My skin is just, like, reacting to sunlight touching it by turning bright red. So it's, then it becomes difficult to tell whether, like if I'm in the sun and I'm already red from the beginning because I'm being touched by the sun, then it's hard to tell if I'm burning after that. You know what I mean? It's like stupid. I am, my grandma was a ginger 
and I have I suffer the consequences of that <laughs> in the form of this this freckly pale Scottish skin. Yeah. I, that's one thing I don't like about, I love freckles, I think they're great, but I wish I had fewer on my hands because I also, when I had porphyria, I had porphyria, right? You guys know this. Um, it causes tissue skin, so your, t your skin like tears all over. <laughs> Super great. That was delightful. Well, so I have all these scars of my hands, right? So then it becomes difficult to, and I had surgery on this one, like for a bone that they had to cut out, arthritis. Um, the point is that my hands look fucky. <laughs> they look a little fucky, right? Because there's all these scars and then the freckles kind of add to it. And it's just there, and there's so many scars and it's just a lot. And I want like cute girl hands so that I can do like, <laughs> so I can do those like ad things where people like send you a product and you hold it on Instagram and oh. <laughs> Um, but I have so many scars on my hands and then the freckles too mixed in. So it's just a lot. That's actually what the tretinoin is for, for my hands, but I can't start that until winter or fall because my hands see the most sun out of anything. And the tretinoin makes you like super sun sensitive. Uh, it will peel off the scabs. It's like, it's like chemical peel light kind of. It, it basically causes new, new fresh skin from beneath to come faster, um, but which will get rid of like scars to a degree and like wrinkles and blah, blah, blah. Um, but yeah, they're going to, I'm going to do it on my face in the winter. Uh, it's for acne scars and I'm going to do it on my hands have the prescription. I just can't do it because it, I live in New Mexico and it's summer. <laughs> um, yeah, Trent Nolan is amazing. Um, so the thing about, <laughs> so the thing about that is that I have UV stickers, right? There's stickers that you can put on your body or wherever, and then you put your sunscreen on over it like you would normally. And then if, when the sunscreen is like stops working, when it's like the stickers turn purple. So when they're exposed to light, they turn purple. <laughs> um, so if you put a bunch of sunscreen on, you have sticker, it, it's clear, right? The problem is that I live in New Mexico and the UV index is so high here that it's always purple. Like literally, no matter how many different sunscreen products and how much I put on these fucking UV stickers, they still turn purple out here. Legit, like that, that's the curse of living in New Mexico. The UV stickers don't even fucking work because they're always purple. Uh, yeah, it sucks. So they're useless because I live in an inhospitable wasteland where no one should live. Ethel, you can lie by the door. Jack just thought you were gonna go inside the house. I'm gonna leave the fan out here for her. Maybe she'll, without us out here, maybe she'll be more comfortable using it. Ethel is a stray cat I feed and have fed for like 10 years. I thought it was eight and then I thought about it and I realized that I've been streaming for 10 years and I started streaming in this house. So Ethel has been around since the beginning. So that means Ethel has been around for 10 years. That's a lot of years for a stray cat to be living on my front porch. She's definitely not happy with the summer. Like, this summer is so brutal, you know? She is not pleased. So maybe I can convince her to be into the fan. If I can just, because I'll leave it out here. I mean, I'll bring it in at night because it's cooler at night, but little kitties. I don't want them to get heat stroke. Yeah, I don't know. Life's interesting. Now that I have a fridge full of fucking kebab, kebabs, 
kebabs. I is it plural or singular? Shish kebabs. Shish kebab. Um, now that I have a fridge full of them, I'm like looking forward to dinner. I'm excited. Thank you. I got this swimsuit so that I could uh, do like psychedelic photo shoot. Yeah, ten because she was an adult ten years ago. How when do cats turn into senior cats? Because Wilhelmina, my favorite one, sorry Ethel, she um, used to sleep every day, every night here, but. Um, uh, now she sort of still comes and goes. There's strays. Like they live the whole orchard, all the ever the whole neighborhood is is their domain, right? But um, she is. Oh, she's no. Nope, she's is she sneaking in the house or is she trying to? Oh my God, Ethel, get out! She's in the fucking house. I'm super allergic. The problem is that these cats decided. Oh, I'm gonna pick my human and I'm gonna pick that one. But like they're they did it wrong. I'm so allergic to cats. I'm on five different allergy medications and I still have to wear gloves just to touch them. And I get itchy even when I'm wearing gloves just from being near them. Like five allergy medications literally every single day. It's insane. Like they picked wrong. <laughs> um just aesthetically speaking, just aesthetically speaking, just for funsies. I really like, uh, like retro fashion and, uh, interior design and stuff from back in the day. Okay. I got to kick Ethel out of the house, but I know she's just escaping from the heat. So I'm going to give her a minute and hope she doesn't touch anything. Um, McDonald's? I'm literally allergic to everything, everything at McDonald's. I can't eat a single thing. Senior cats are, uh, they turn senior, senior cats are like 11 years old? How long do cats even live? Um, yeah, wow. Then she and, I know Vili for sure, Vilhelmina is for sure a senior cat because like you can tell. A little bit but she's I mean she's amazing I yeah it's probably about time that I take them to the vet again for a checkup they're not my cats though I refuse to have cats when I can't even like touch them I have to wear like a mask and gloves to do the vet thing and you know it's like a whole thing um, I refuse too, too allergic. 15 to 20 years. Okay, so I got another. I got a while still. Sesame seeds. Oh, sesame's so good, too. Damn. Tahini. If you're allergic to sesame seeds, you can't eat tahini. That sucks. Thank you. I, um, yeah. I... Okay, my dog is refusing to go outside, even though it's 100 plus degrees out here. I'm going to, I'm going to start, um, <sighs> so sweaty. I'm, I'm like so sunscreen covered and so sweaty, both, and it's just, I'm going to need a shower, even though I didn't even get in the chlorine. Okay, so I'm going to carry some stuff in to the house. Uh, trying to not just have it be boobs but I gotta have it be boobs for a second okay so the hat that we steamed earlier isn't like entirely successful because well I can't put it on now I've got a hair thing because it's still kind of bent but I feel like we did pretty well and I don't want to leave it unsupervised out here because some animal will come over and pee on it um so I'm gonna put this inside I'm gonna just start carrying things inside uh, oh, I could just put on the cover-up. 
I really like this thing, but um, it was definitely not made for someone quite as uh, curvy. <laughs> Uh, also, this thing, this cover-up that I have, um, it's supposed to go to the floor. Like, it's supposed to have long-ass sleeves, and it's supposed to go to the floor, and um, it does not go to the floor on me. Let's just say that. It's not a floor-length dress on me. How bad? Oh my god, it got even worse. Or is that just from sitting? It might just be from sitting. Oh god. It's so bad. Okay. Oh. Oh. Ethel, get out. Oh. Oh. She's never swiped oh. a jack before like that. She is really miserable in this heat. I hope she accepts the fan. Um, okay. Uh, alright. I'm gonna... Oh, I closed the garage without, um thinking about the fact that I need to put a floaty, a pool floaty in there. <sighs> okay, here we go. Um, garage door opener is inside. Hi, Apple. Okay, um, It's got sparkle shit in there. I'm gonna put this inside so I don't lose it. It's very important that I don't lose it. Um, if we do this, if we do this tomorrow, let's do it later in the day. <laughs> and we'll just survive, like we'll just deal with the wind and have less sun. Um, I should probably move the chair back, um, but I'm not gonna. Because, why? Um, table. Um, I'm just gonna leave this chair here. Then there's the source of my internet. Uh, this is the fan that I put, took the bottom off sideways to try to get the cat. Um, but yes, this is supposed to be a floor length dress. <laughs> okay. Okay, honey. 
Um, okay. Did you guys know that I have great links? Such good links. Oh, where are my shoes wet? I didn't get in the water. Why are my shoes wet? Suspicious. <laughs> uh, so much hair. Um, so, I have great links and you should look at those links. Because um, sunscreen, oh man, it costs money. <laughs> uh, <laughs> It's actually not that expensive, but I use so much of it. Um, yeah, hold on. I can't see the chat because I don't have my phone. Hold on. Let me put this inside too. And make sure that this is like for the chat. the cat likes to lie. Okay. Um, not really high humidity, just extremely high heat. My hair looks like this because I've been sweating and also there's so much sunscreen in it at this point. Um, I would have seen if an animal peed in them. <laughs> Definitely not an animal peeing in them. I think I just spilled water on them during some, out, like, some part of this. I could hose them off. I have a hose. I'll stick them in the sink. Or the shower. I'll just wear them in the shower. <laughs> Cause I definitely gotta wash all the sunscreen off. Cause holy shit. Hi guys. Hi, welcome. Welcome, welcome. I'm 5'9. 175 centimeters. Um what they call a big bitch. Um but yeah, that's why this is like, <laughs> the sleeves are so short and it is not a floor length cover up. Not even close. <laughs> not even fucking close, man. Oh, it's, yeah, the cats have never peed on anything that they weren't supposed to pee on. The stray cats here. And my dog doesn't really do that either. That's not his style. He's more likely to throw up on things. Um, um, let's see. <sighs> Guys? Um, tall for a woman explains the cover up. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm definitely tall. Yeah, I'm tall. My family is full of like giant people who are like, tall tall um okay we're gonna raid my friend forest of wires who's a musician um okay and then i'll let some more chlorine go away before i put the lids on the lid on the hot cover on the hot tub it's not a lid i don't know why that happened like the words, I, it's like with the escalator and elevator, I say those wrong, and I get stove and oven confused, probably because I learned English wrong or at the same time as German, so it like kind of got all fucky, you know what I mean? Size, so yeah, they're like, like on alley, this would be on the, to the floor, like I have a lot of friends where this is a floor length gown, I'm just not, that's never going to be my life. Um, that's okay, you know, there are worse things. My neighbor is there. I don't know that neighbor. I don't trust it because I don't know it. Um, 
But yeah, we'll see. Tomorrow, maybe. Tomorrow, maybe. Or tomorrow, maybe Desperate Housewives game. Should we sleep with the mob guy? The guy in the Italian mob? Should we cheat on our husband with the mob guy? Mm, it's an option. What if he knows something about our amnesia? I think our husband's lying to us. Also, I think our husband might be cheating on us with his assistant. In the game, I don't have a husband in real life. Pool toys? Yes, I have pool toys. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Master of the 